Hey, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel, the only place on YouTube where you're going to find a video, probably, on these guys right here. This is Adidas Futurecraft Loop. It's 100% recyclable, including the boost. It's amazing. So first things first, I did not wear test these. This is a beta test version. There will be future beta test versions that the public can actually sign up for and test themselves. We will have information on that and more over at weartesters.com. So make sure to click the link in the description box or that thing right over there. It's gonna send you over to the official performance review held down by our man Drew. If you want more information just real quick on these guys and stick with us, I'm gonna talk all about it. So as you can see right here on the tongue, it says that this shoe is 100% recyclable. And then if you scan that QR code and you click on the uh, thing, there we go. Sorry, it's a little slow. Then this is the landing page for the upcoming Futurecraft boost. This thing is really cool. You can go 360 around the shoe. You can check out all of the tech specs and components. Basically what this is gonna tell you is that everything on this shoe is recyclable from top to bottom. It's a really neat concept. Adidas has been doing stuff very similar to this with Parlay. They're working with that company or that brand, you know, taking junk out of the ocean, recycling it and turning it into footwear. But this guy right here is something kind of completely different. It's his own beast entirely. What they're basically planning to do with shoes like this is make the next shoe out of this, which is really interesting. So once the beta test version, which is Gen 1 right here in hands, once this is uh, done being tested, we send these back. They're gonna shred the shoe up and they're gonna make the components of this shoe that's left over and turn it into the next product, which is just, I just think it's kind of mind blowing. Like the more that I think about it, it's uh, like nobody's doing this and it's really cool. So the first thing to know is that because this is 100% recyclable, the shoe is in fact made out of TPU, which is plastic. That includes the outsole right here. It feels like rubber, but it acts like plastic. The boost that you see right here is not the same type of boost that you would see come from BASF, which is what Adidas usually uses. This is their own kind of concoction of boost. And this is again, TPU based. They're able to shred this up and turn it into the next new product. All of the yarn here that makes up the entire upper is is TPU based, they heat weld certain areas for strength and durability, and then that turns into what you can see is a clear plastic. Even the laces are recycled and it's it's plastic. You can see that the aglets right here are formed by heat pressing it, and it turned into a really cool, clear, you know, bendable aglet. It almost looks like a, a hot glue stick before you stick it in the glue gun. There is not a lot of structure to the shoe because it is, you know, all one piece right now, but this is a beta test version. So again, once they receive these shoes back and receive feedback from all of the beta testers, then they're going to be able to kind of fine tune everything that you see here into the next model. Even the insole is made out of the TPU plastic. This thing is made out of Boost itself. I think that this is awesome. You see this in some of their cleats and all that stuff, the Yeezy cleats. This is just a really cool feature that they don't do in other shoes. It is a small or thin cut of boost, but it is boost nonetheless. The strobel board, also plastic, and there is no adhesive attaching the upper to the boost midsole. That's probably the thing that I think is most interesting. And because the upper and the boost itself, including the strobel, are all TPU, what they're able to do is put it on the platform and then heat press it together without any adhesive on any of the shoe. It's mind blowing to think about that. The way that Footwear is made traditionally, lots of glue, lots of stitching. This is all just one thing. It's just, it's the future. Now I did not wear test these guys. Again, our guy Drew actually did that. So we're gonna bring him in. He's gonna tell you all about the performance. So with that being said, Take it away, Drew. All right, guys, so for those of you that don't know, this is my friend Drew. He's actually the co-founder here over at Wear Testers, and he's the one that actually wear tested these things right here. I'm gonna have to soak my hands in bleach, I'm just saying. So this is one of the first TPU-based rubber outsoles I've heard of. It looks just like their stretch web, but how does it actually perform? So durability-wise, it's been good. It's not going down quicker than the Continental rubber would, but if you run into a puddle, run out of a puddle, you're in dry conditions, you're gonna be slipping for at least five to 10 steps. Is this like considerably heavier than regular rubber or you didn't notice any difference? A Little bit heavier, but not too much. I don't think any anyone will really notice that unless you're an elite, elite runner. And then I, I did notice a weird kind of clacking sound, which is strange because in hand it feels almost like rubber, but it sounded like a Vapor Max. Yeah, it sounds a lot different than regular rubber. You get a little bit of a, it's not a squeak, it's I guess, Clack, it sounded kind of clacky. It was, it was a little strange and, yeah. and we were on concrete. It doesn't actually look like it's been worn down. Do you know roughly the mileage? 
So I put over 60 miles running in these, and then I also went to Legoland, I walked around New York City, and I used them as daily kick around shoes for a long time, uh, mostly because Adidas wanted us to beat them into the ground as best we could. So they look great from a traction perspective. It's gonna be interesting to see what they can do with second iteration. So they say that they were gonna tint you know, colors into the outsoles, or was that something that they were just gonna do into the upper? They didn't say about the outsoles, but the upper they will be able to color. We've actually got some photos with red and blue versions. They haven't said when those are coming out or anything like that, but they look really cool. The boost here is, you were saying earlier, from the 4.0, the Ultra Boost 4, or not 4.0, but the Ultra Boost is fourth generation. Yeah, the Ultra Boost fourth generation, the mold is the same. Now the actual boost itself is different. As Chris pointed out earlier, it's a different formulation. Feels the same though. I didn't really notice any difference. However, if you're running right now in the Ultra Boost 19, you will feel that there's less boost in these than there are in the Ultra Boost 19. The Ultra Boost 19 was packed with boost for greater stability, so you don't have as much mush. Uh, these feel a little more springy. Yeah. So, and then did you notice anything with the insole? So the insole loved the boost on the insole. What I didn't love is the top layer. Now, once again, this is made of plastic, but it's a TPU yarn, but it's actually a little bit rough. At the end of a long run, I kind of like felt my foot had been like run through the ringer and even got a blister on one of my toes when I first started running in these just because it's a very rough insole. Did it start off like that or it, it, long term it was like that? It really didn't change over the life of the shoe. I thought it would ground down, you know, just like a typical insole becomes smoother and more comfortable. I definitely, there's a foot shape in here. It almost looks and feels like a strobel. Yeah, no, it's, it's more strobel than it is insole. Uh, insole. Okay. And the actual strobel in here is actually a lot different uh, than you would expect from a traditional strobel. The strobel that is in here feels like it would be a little more comfortable. And I think the reason they did this is because they thought you would slide around mm -hmm. if you were like on a trail, but I think they kind of overdid it. Now, how did the upper feel? This is primarily plastic, even though it feels, to me, it feels very good. The closest thing that I can compare this to is something like the Dame 3 that had the TPU-based yarn heat welded in certain areas for basketball movements, so high wear areas and all that stuff. Lateral movements is a little bit different, still kind of sock-like. There is molding in the rear, but not a traditional heel counter, which I think is weird. So how did everything fit, feel, and move? At first, when you put on the shoes, it feels like a 2011 era Fuse sneaker, but this actually breaks in a lot quicker and a lot better than Fuse used to. It really starts to feel more like knit. Now, it feels like a super strong knit. You're never gonna feel like you do in an ultra boost. But Overly stretchy. Yeah, which, which is actually good if you do a lot of trail running because these had great stability because the thread is so strong across here, whereas I wouldn't trail run in a regular Ultra Boost. That actually makes sense. Lacking a heel counter because this is technically plastic anyways, Yeah, it almost is one and the same. Is there anything that you would change, update, would like to see on the second version? So the insole, top cover the insole, change that. I would also change the laces. I love the aglets, uh, as Chris pointed out earlier, they're plastic, they're cool, but the laces don't stretch much and they're also not quite long enough. So I have to do like a shorty double knot every time I use these shoes. But they also told me they're working on the laces, that the laces is one of the hardest things to do out of plastic because plastic doesn't have stretch and a big thing in running right now is to use very elasticy laces and they can't do that here but they know that relieving that top foot pressure is important so that's kind of an ongoing project that adidas is working on i forgot to ask how is the fit is it was this true to size for you yep true to size it felt like wearing an ultra boost just go with your ultra boost size some wide footers like to go up half a size in ultra boost so if you do that there do that here what did you wear in the 4.0 ultra boost because she went they fit they fit big to me right and to you you went down for the 2019, I had to go down half a step. Oh yeah, okay. sorry, I keep yeah. calling those a four. Isn't that the four? Or is it not? I don't no, know. No, the 2019 is 2019. The four looks like the original Ultra Boost, but it's just so did slight I, tweaks. Did I miss one? <laughs> I did. Well, there's there's like one, two, three, and they just, they didn't come out every year. They were yeah. like as Adidas felt like it. Okay, so in the 2019 Ultra Boost, you wear this size? I wear 11 and a half, yep. Interesting. And so I do have 
a little more room in the toe than say Nightwing likes. He likes to be right at the end. But with me running, my feet swell, so I want a little bit extra room because I got a, a really long middle toe, so I want it to have room. Okay, so if you want that snug fit, go down half a size, but keep in mind that this is plastic, so you might want to go true to size just in case because you're not going to have that extra stretch so you could get black toes. One last thing is the support. The torsional bar in here is a lot different than what we've seen in the torsion systems for the Ultra Boost. This is actually a little 3D printed piece. It's real interesting. Did you notice any difference? between something like this and the Ultra Boost? It's a little stiffer than the Ultra Boost 19, whatever plastic formulation they used, but uh, th the entire shoe is a little more stiffer, so I really didn't notice it. Okay, so it was equally stiff across the board. Yep, that's the what she said. <sighs> hey! And that is pretty much all we've got for you. Any other insights that you would like to point, point out? I know that his, his write-up is super detailed. It's got a lot more information that is not in this video. So if you want additional info as far as like how much percentage of this is recycled into the next shoe, so on and so forth, go check out the article. It's a great read. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about Drew. It should, should we fire him? I don't know if we can because he's your you co-founder. Yeah, co -founder. It's, he, we're stuck with him. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you are Adidas, we are sending these back to you to be recycled. Hopefully you send them a new pair. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good one. Thanks, everybody.